send your rare pepes over from rare pepe wallet to OpenSea, you need to have something called Koval. It's a token uh, that you can buy on Uniswap. So if you come to uniswap.org and you connect your MetaMask wallet, you can exchange your Ethereum for Koval and it's C-O-V-A-L. For each card that you want to send over from Rare Pepe Wallet to OpenSea, uh, you need about 250 Koval, I believe, any somewhere between 150 to 300 Koval per card, and it's real cheap. Um, it's not too expensive, so I think 0.1 ETH gets you about, let's see here, 17k Koval. Um, I don't need that much. I already have uh, quite a bit of Koval. Um, enough to send all my cards over, but you know, if you just want to send over one card, you know, you could just do 300 Koval and it'll calculate the Ethereum amount. Now, there is gas fees associated with that, so keep that in mind. Um, so, you might just want to do all of your, your sending or all of your conversion all at once. Um, because if I, and I'm not going to do this because you know, I don't want to spend gas, but you would just confirm this, and then after it's confirmed, the Koval would come up in your account. Um, and that's what you use on Emblem Finance to send your, or create your vault and send your cards over. Now, let's say you bought a card and you have one in your collection and you want to send it over to OpenSea so that you can either keep it on your OpenSea or sell it on OpenSea. What you can do is once the transaction is finished and your Rare Pepe shows up in your wallet, what you can do is go over to emblem.finance and this is a technology that uses um, your rare pepe or whatever's on the bitcoin blockchain and wraps it so it can go onto the ethereum blockchain and therefore be sent over to OpenSea. you can go ahead and create a vault And just double can double check that this is your address. Uh, it connects to your MetaMask, so just double check anyways. And then you can go to my, and then for your vault name, what I usually like to do is, let's say for example, I'll actually find a card that I want to send over. I'll take this card for example. I just copy this, and I put it in here, and I like to just. Put the series and the card number in parentheses and then for the issuance i just put in like square brackets and then for the description you can pretty much just copy and paste this but what i like to do is take an explanation of um, the series and the card number so just come here and take it from my template because all my descriptions are pretty much the same so I just copy this and I paste it and then I just change it for series and the card number and then this is 444 issuance so I just pretty much like to say you know this is Fat Pepe or no, this is not Fat Pepe this is for Predator, great card by the way, very slept on, I know it's a little higher issuance but I think it'll end up being a very good card in the future. For Predator is a Series 9 card 13 of the iconic Rare Pepe wallet set. This legendary collection of NFTs was minted on Counterparty XCP from 2016 to 2018, long before the barrage of normie NFTs we see today. Many Counterparty wallets have been lost over the years, thus the circulation is lower than the 444 issuance. Then I'll hit next. And then for the display URL, this is um, the easy way to do it. You can just right click and then copy the image address and that'll just take the cards picture right from where Puppet Wallet and it'll be displayed here. Make sure that is your card that you're trying to send and you're you know, copying over the right address. Once you do that, you can hit do it. And there is gas fees associated with this. so. Once it's done calculating, it's gonna pop up in your MetaMask where you can improve uh, the gas amount. If it's too high, I probably won't send it, but let's see what comes up. Okay, 
okay, $89, it's a little high, but uh, it is what it is. So let's go ahead, actually I'm gonna edit this because I, I don't mind if it takes a while. I'll just come back and record this when um, it's done processing. So I'm just gonna put it in like 58. I know it's gonna take a long time, but I have time. I'll come back and record this. So I'll hit confirm and then Obviously this is going to take longer than usual because I've just changed the gas price. But after this is done, I'm going to come back and record it so I can show you the final step of what you need to do to send it over to open. Done, it'll bring me to this page. Now this is where I need to send the actual card to this vault, okay? So you actually notice uh, my ETH and my COVAL went down once this was confirmed. So that's what it looks like. now. Um, to send this card, what I need to do is I need to click on this card and send it. Now for the address, what I need to do is click on the BTC address. And once I click on this, I can copy it. And then I can come back to Rare Puppy Wallet and put it in here and send amount. I have one of these cards and that's all I want to send. So I'll hit one and um, I will leave the fees as that. Um, that's higher than the recommended fees. That's fine because I just want to get this done pretty quickly. So I'll send and I can once again check my transaction hash and keep an eye on it. Now once this is complete and has at least one confirmation, what's going to happen is that the card that I sent is gonna show up here in this balance. Once it shows up in this balance, I can see it on OpenSea. Well, I can actually see it right now on OpenSea, but it's gonna say that it's an empty vault um, and there's nothing actually physically inside the vault. So when you're buying Rare Pepe's on OpenSea, you know, one of the checks that you do is you come down here to the description and you actually view it on the X-Chain Explorer so that you can actually see that it's in the vault. Um, I'll show you an example using my Fat Pepe. So this one has the XCP Explorer at the bottom, so I can actually click on it and it'll take me to Xchain and I'll be able to click into the asset so I can see that I have one of these rare Pepe's in this um, address. So once I click on it um, and you know, I can see the issuances um, and make sure it's you know from five years ago and it's not like a counterfeit card. Now this doesn't have that because it's an empty vault and it, it won't have the levels information either because there's nothing in here. So that's something you want to look out for. You never buy an empty vault card. Those are scams. Uh, you're not going to get the card. You're only purchasing pretty much a picture of it, right? And that's, that's pointless. So once this is done confirming on Emblem, um, I'll be able to have this empty vault disappear and the asset actually show up so that whoever buys it will be buying the card. So I'll come back. Well, my transaction was just confirmed. It just got one confirmation for me sending my Pet Predator card to Emblem Vault. So if I come here and just wait for it to show up or refresh it, it should show up right around now. There we go. So this is the balance now. It has one rare Pepe and that's a for Predator card. If I click on view, I can see uh, information about that card. So there's 444 issuance five years ago. Everything checks out. And then if I click on the vault now on OpenSea, um, it still might say empty vault. That's fine. It just takes a little bit of time to update the metadata. So I'll just go ahead and refresh it. And hopefully it takes care of it soon see here yep so that just got updated um, actually when I click on it, it it hasn't been but okay there we go so now the empty vault is gone and I can come down here and I can check the levels um, and I can also see my XCP Explorer link um, like I mentioned before click on it and see all the same information so that's how you successfully send a card over from your Rare Pepe wallet to your OpenSea, and now if I refresh, 
uh, my Rare Pepe wallet and go to my cards. I actually won't be able to see that card there anymore because I sent it over and now it has disappeared. 